To write the resonance structures for SO4 2 minus the sulfate ion, we'll follow these rules here. So the first thing is we need a valid Lewis structure. And if you drew the Lewis structure for SO4 2 minus, you'd probably come up with something like this first. And this is a valid Lewis structure. We have octets on each of the atoms, and we've used all the valence electrons for the SO4 2 minus ion. However, if we wrote the formal charges, we'd find something like this. Each of the oxygens would have a minus one formal charge. Then the sulfur in the center, that would have a plus two. We'd like our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible, or in this case, to add up to the charge on the ion. So here it does add up to the charge on the ion. If we added these up, we'd get a minus two. But we can lower the formal charges, and that would mean it'd be a more likely or more favorable Lewis structure. To do that, we can push some electrons. So we could push these two electrons here to form a double bond between the oxygen and the sulfur. And when we do that, the formal charge on the oxygen becomes zero. The formal charge on the sulfur becomes plus one. So these formal charges are a little bit better. But we could also push these two valence electrons here to form a double bond with the sulfur. And now the oxygen here has a formal charge of zero, and the sulfur is also zero. So these formal charges are a lot more favorable. That means this is a more likely Lewis structure. The other two structures are resonance structures, but they really don't contribute to the overall structure of the SO4 2 minus ion. So we have a valid Lewis structure. We've maintained the same number of valence electrons. We haven't changed that. And we didn't move any atoms. So this is the most likely or favorable Lewis structure for the sulfate ion. But now we need to write the equivalent resonance structures. Those are the resin structures with two double bonds and two single bonds in the formal charges like we have here. That'll look like this. So this structure right here with the double bond here and here is represented by this one right here and right here. For these structures, the lone pair electrons are not drawn. So there are six equivalent resonance structures for the sulfate ion. We have the double bond here and here. Then it moves over to the right, shifts to the center, and so on. So there's six different ways we could draw this. The important thing to realize is these six different ways don't represent the ion switching back and forth between different Lewis structures. What it means is that these six will be averaged to form one structure, and that'll be what we find in the lab. That'll be how the electrons are delocalized across the ion. So for the sulfate ion, there are six equivalent resonance structures, and these are the major contributing resonance structures to the SO4 2 minus ion. This is Dr. B with the resonance structures for SO4 2 minus the sulfate ion. Thanks for watching.